you would help me in welcoming Brian Schrauber. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jack. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Welcome back. Cellular exercise stimulates the lymphatic system. So the use of this round disc with the running springs creates a pump for the lymph. What pumps the blood? Right. So what pumps the lymph? Right. Who said breath? So your diaphragm not only oxygenates the blood, pumps the lymph, which is our main discussion here. If it does not work, number one, number two, number one, we're not getting proper lymphatic drainage the way we really should if we're using breath to drive the lymph, the patient system must work. When you breathe deep, right, into the diaphragm, you're creating a vacuum with every breath to move that lymph. There are one-way valves, filaments, in the, in the lymphatic uh, system. There are sacs on top of sacs, and the valves must, must open and close with motion. There's other ways to get it open and close, but we'll use movement since that's our direction. And when we go down on the, on the unit, and we create gravity, as our friend here, we get deceleration in gravity, and that creates lymphatic motion. You see that? So what happens is every time I go up and down, this is what's going on. The valves are closed on the way up, and every time I sink into the mat, the valves are opening, and we're getting lymph, pulling from one chamber to the next chamber to the next chamber. Interesting just by bouncing on this unit. Now we're not talking about jumping or running and doing all these other fun things that you can gain strength and conditioning benefits for. So the lymphatic pump becomes very active during exercise, but sluggish under resting conditions, says Arthur C. Geiger from the textbook of medical physiology. 